Hello everyone and welcome to a new adventure in Claude and the Phantom where we are but a humble antique shop owner who gets in the possession of a HAUNTED PAINTING WITH A GHOST IN IT! Now if that doesn't terrify you, then it shouldn't because we're gonna help this phantom escape the earthly realm and move on, okay? And we're gonna do that because we're a nice guy. But this is a point and click adventure game made for the Adventure Jam 2018 and it just looked really nice so I thought I'd give it a try, you know? It was just a quiet town. You know, nothing ever really happens in quiet towns until it does. And this is a time where it does. Oh, And I like the art style. It looks very nice. Oh, Dasser's Cove, Tuesday. Okay. Is that us? Oh, okay. So we got a painting. Oh, good morning. Hmm. Is this a junk shop? Well, sort of. I prefer antique. This is Claude's Antique Emporium. I have kinds of curiosities or collectibles. Interesting paintings. Mmm, and keys and clocks. And, oh, yes, as it happens, I have a painting here that may interest you. Hmm, well, what artist is it by? How old is it? Does it have any demons living inside of it? Huh, excellent. Well, put it on the easel over there and let's have a look. Oh. This is a nice old shop. Why would she? Why does she have a painting with a demon in it? Oh, it's just a cat. Oh, is it gonna be a cat ghost? <laughs> uh, thanks. That's just lovely. Actually, I've been struggling to sell spooky paintings of cats lately. Oh, get this thing out of my shop. No, oh, it's a lovely picture of a cat. Look, it's adorable. Oh, thanks very much. That's just lovely. You ever uh, have enough creepy pet portraits, really? Uh, well, you're most welcome. It's not haunted or anything, by the way. Oh yeah, totally. Is it haunted by a cat ghost? Wait a minute. I think she was lying! Hmm, I've got a funny feeling about that painting. So, should, should I inspect it? What is this? Uh, it's a matching pair of ceramic spindles. Okay, we got a lot of stuff. Damn, we got a lot of stuff. Odds and ends? What's in here? A lock chest stuff I haven't priced up yet. I can't remember what's inside. What is this? Henry Fusil's The Nightmare Painting, 1781. Terrifying stuff. Not as terrifying as our cat demon. Okay, so should I go over and take a look at it? Oh! Yikes! What's happening? I don't remember pricing up an organ recently. Oh! Hello there! Finally out of that dusty attic. Why were you living in her attic? Who are you? Be gone, foul fiend! Uh, who are you? Oh, <laughs> glad you asked. I'm Prince. At least, the eternal <laughs> remnants of the cat that was once Prince. Oh, yes, of, of course. How could I have been so mistaken? Okay, why are you in a painting and why is that painting in my shop now? Hmm. <laughs> Never to glimpse the daylight until now. Never to have hope escaping this <laughs> really realm. Aww. There's a chance that you can help me. Okay, well, who's gonna pay for this painting then? How, how would I help you escape the painting? I'm really not interested, but but I am. So so how do I help you escape? How can I help you escape from the painting? I'm, I'm just a humble antique shop owner. Hmm, to break the curse, I'll need to sleep. A final peaceful slumber is the only thing that can break the link. Okay. How do, how do I make you sleep? How do I get cats to sleep? Do you just, just give them a nice little cat bed? Do you want a bed for your painting? But why do you need me to help you sleep? I thought cats were good at sleeping on their own. Why do you need me to help you sleep? I guess, you know, he's a ghost trapped in a painting, so... Uh, as a ghost, I have limited powers over physical world. Okay, so how am I going to have power over your world? You, on the other hand, can arrange things for me to have... Oh, a cat nap. Okay, how do... <laughs> Are you gonna make me arrange my shop just so you take a nap? A delicious sporting. Okay. A nice woolly blanket and a patch of warm sunlight. Okay. Oh, and if you could stop those infernal clocks ticking, that would be ideal. Okay, wait, what was that first part? I didn't get to read it. I really can't relax with clocks ticking. All right, so get a blanket in the sunlight. All right. This is quite how I plan to spend my afternoon, but I'll see what I can do. Aww, look at us, we're being so nice to this cat demon. Alright, so wait, can you tell me again, what, what, how do I help you? That means I'll need a delicious portion of fresh mackerel. 
Why? Where am I going to get fresh mackerel? Well, I mean, we are by the sea, so that probably wouldn't be too hard, actually. But yeah, who is that woman that brought you the painting? Why did Why did she have a painting of a ghost cat? Are you her cat? Oh, that's Miss Underwood. Oh, she hates cats, especially ghost ones, it seems. Why did she have a painting of a cat then? When she found out the painting in the attic yesterday, I burst from the canvas and probably almost scared her to death and followed her around for hours purring. Oh, that'd be adorable. Eventually, she attacked me with a broom and tried to suck me into a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, it sounds like a not very pleasant home to live in. And I guess she realized she, she, could, she could palm the painting off to some gullible old fool. Thanks. Thanks, cat. I mean, no offense. Oh, yeah, none taken, definitely. Thanks. What's it like being a ghost? Um, it's pretty dull. <laughs> Scaring people. This <laughs> is novelty after a few decades. How long have you been a ghost? And really been scratching things. Aw, that's sad. Alright, I'll be back. I, I guess I should go outside to get the fresh mackerel. Is there any fresh mackerel in here? I guess we could just turn off the clock. I'll probably need a key to open it. Oh. Okay, is that the key right there? It's a key on a string. Yeah, I got a key. So, okay. So, can I use the key? How do I use my How do I use my items? A key, a small key on a long piece of string. There. Aha! Oh, drat! This key isn't for the clock. Wait, so, what is this key for? Oh, it's probably for the chest, right? Is this key for the chest? Uh, odds and ends. String. Yeah. Open. Oh, the key fits. So, okay. Huh. Not much interesting here. Maybe that magnet could be useful. How? Okay. Take a magnet. So, what else was in there? A bunch of junk, I guess. Okay. So, <laughs> where am I gonna use a magnet? All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go outside and, and look for some mackerel, I guess. Okay. So you're a fisherman. All right, this is Royer Squalls, the courageous sailor, searching the horizon for his next great adventure. Do you have any fish? Good afternoon, Roy. Oh, why does he look like that? Afternoon, Claude. Nothing like a lungful of sea air before a new adventure, eh? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I just, okay. All right, do you have any fish? Been any uh, good adventures lately? Any tips for a novice? Mackerel fisherman. Okay. May I borrow your boat? Am I gonna have to go out fishing? Any tips for a novice mackerel fisherman? Hmm. Ah, mackerel's easy. You just need a decent fishing rod and the right spot. Okay. And a colorful feather on the end of the line always helps. Okay. So I should look for a feather. And they fall for it every time. Okay. Uh, bye for now because I'm probably going to need some stuff before I go in there. What is that? A cracked mirror? Okay. I probably need a feather from my shop. I probably have a feather in here somewhere. Right? There's gotta be a feather in here. What's under here? Okay. This is my register. I'll take my poncho. Okay. It could come in handy. Oh! Oh! I forgot about this thing. Hmm. Can I take a feather? Oh! Oh! Yes! I took a feather! Oh! A map! Oh! Interesting! It looks like there's a cluster loads of shipwrecks just around the coast from here. Why is that important? Hmm? Okay. It's a battered acoustic guitar. I only know one chord. Also, the guitar is missing a lot of its strings. Can I take some strings for it and make a fishing pole? I, I don't I don't think that's how fishing poles work or how guitars work. Hey Roy, can I borrow the boat hook? <laughs> what do you need it for? Hmm, I'm not sure yet. Okay, that's weird, but go ahead, Claude. Thanks! Alright, can, can I use the boat hook for something? I don't know why I took that, but maybe there's something I need to get down? I can't- Oh, okay, so I can't reach that clock. So maybe I'll use the boat hook to- Yes! Can I- Yes! Okay, I got that- Oh, well. There goes my clock! Hopefully I didn't want to sell it. Alright. Um, well, I've started ticking, but it's beyond repair. Aww, the glass is shattered, and the minute hand bent up at a right angle. Okay, what does that mean? Why are we gonna take the minute hand with us? Why do I need a right angle? I don't understand. Okay, so, 
Is there anything else in here that I can use? Please note, all items within this cabinet are cursed. The vendor assumes no responsibility for customer's ill fortune. Okay, I don't want to mess around with any of that stuff. Now I have the incident with the monkey's paw. All right, ooh, is there a back, back room? Can I go in here? No? All right, well, I don't know what else to, to, to take. Hmm, this could be useful. Why are we taking our knife with us? Okay, um, all right, I think I got everything possibly. I don't really know. I've clicked on a lot of stuff, so I hope I got everything I need. So should I go ask Roy for his, his boat? I, I guess he'll lend it to us. I mean, he gave us the, the boat hook, so good afternoon, Roy. All right, yeah, it's a great, great day. Um, may I borrow your boat, good sir? Please? Oh, <laughs> no way, Claude. Oh, the gutless only sails with me at the tailor. Oh, so can we sail together? And only when adventures on the horizon. Okay. I don't suppose a mackerel fishing trip counts as an adventure. Please, maybe? I mean, mackerels are all. No, no, it doesn't. Oh! So how do I get his boat? Why is your boat called the Gutless? <laughs> yeah, that seems like kind of contrary to your, your beliefs. Inherited from my famously cowardly uncle, Wimpy. Oh, Squalls, never changed the name. Oh, well, is, is that good luck to not change the boat's name? I think it would be bad luck to change it, right? I don't know. I don't know how boat naming works, all right? Been on any good adventures lately? Maybe some fishing trips? Mm, yeah, yeah. Not really. I'm just trying to decide on what to do next. Maybe you should go fishing, you know? I've already outswum and killed shark to cross the Jackie Shark Rose. Lows, shall shallows, I know how to read, shut up. Croaked five world records solo. Wow. And written three volumes of best-selling award-winning memoirs. Wow, Roy, you um, you seem to be doing pretty well for yourself. Uh, well, what's left to do? Maybe go fishing? Maybe go fishing? I've heard of a great adventure opportunity. <gasps> yeah, there's a bunch of broken ships uh, down there around the coast somewhere. Really? I'm listening. Hmm. Oh, uh, I need some help with cursed painting and a ghost cat. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could be honest with them or we could lie and tell them there's this thing called Adventure Jam. There's a bunch of shipwrecks just around the coast from here. Yeah, yeah, there's some shipwrecks. You like wrecked ships? Not that your ship's gonna get wrecked, but you like shipwrecks? There's a rocky shallow. At least six vessels. Six, six of them. Ooh, that may be a treasure dive there. This is just the adventure I've been waiting for. Okay, so I need to take this opportunity to fish while he's out adventuring. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. All right, so I need, I need to get a fishing pole first. I need to get a fishing pole before I go fishing. Oh, what did I just grab that for? Okay. What did I just even grab? What was that? A painting? A portrait? Why? <laughs> okay, it's an unusual dagger. Hmm. Could be centuries old. Oh, wait, what? I've attached a string from the key to the boat hook. Okay, that's what I tried to do before, but it didn't let me. Alright, so now I have a fishing pole. And now I just need to attach the feather to the fishing pole. And now I have my fishing pole. But why did I grab my portrait? I don't really understand. Alright, so I'm, I'm ready, Roy. We're gonna go on an adventure. It's gonna be great. And I'm gonna use you to go fishing. But you're gonna have so much fun on this adventure. It's gonna be great. Alright, uh, I'm ready to go and look for the shipwreck now. Alright, great. All aboard the Cutlass then. Nice. Alright, I've never fished in my life, but here goes something. Oh, he looks so happy. Alright, I think this is the spot. I'm gonna go dive and look for the wrecks. Alright, good luck. I'm gonna fish while you, um, you have fun there. Alright. So I have this, so how do I fish? Ooh, this looks like a good spot. Okay. I don't know how we know that, but we're gonna go fishing. Alright, uh, I've got something biting. Okay, I'm, okay, I've got some fire looking mackerels. That went really quickly. All right, nice. Okay, so we got mackerels. Now we just need uh, to stop the clocks, but I don't have a key. How am I gonna open that one clock? Maybe I can use my knife. <laughs> you can pick it. Oh, I have a small key with, without the string, maybe. Okay, no, it still doesn't fit. Oh, wow, the magnet is pulling the pendulum through the wood. Oh, okay. So is that gonna stop it? <gasps> There, she the mechanism. Wow, I'm so smart. Magnets are awesome. Nice. It's valuable for the clock that I probably ruined. Nice. 
Okay. So I stopped the clocks, I got a mackerel, and I have a wool poncho. So that should make for a good bed, right? In the sunlight? Should I put the poncho down by the window? I guess? Where's a good spot? Here? No? No, not there. Okay, where should I put the poncho? I, de I know it's gotta be the poncho. Also, why do I have a painting? Oh, wait, in the patch of sunlight. That's the, that's the patch of sunlight right there. That's why I moved the painting. To, so I can hang it on there? Can I, can I hang the poncho on the, the hook? <sighs> hmm, I need to put it on a plate or something. Can the portrait act as a plate? Oh, that'd be mm, a waste of good fish. Okay. So I can't put it on the portrait, so I need an actual plate. Do I have an actual plate? Is this is this a plate? Got it. Okay, so that's a plate, right? It's a bowl. Put it okay, so put it in the bowl, and now I can cut it up. Nice. Alright, so I've got the mackerel. Okay, it's great. Now what do how do I get the the poncho? What do I do with that? Oh, what did I just grab? Okay. What, what did I just pick up? It's a cracked oval mirror. Okay, why? Also, how and why? Why did I why did I have that? Was that for my antique shop? Why did I buy someone's cracked mirror? I don't understand. Should I put the cracked mirror up here? Okay, I'll hang the mirror from the nail. Okay. Oh, yes! It reflected a bunch of sunlight under the floor. Nice! Okay, so now I put the poncho down there. Okay. So now I can give, do I give you the mackerel or do I talk to you? Okay, <gasps> wow, thanks, tasty <laughs> mackerel. That's, oh, that's everything now. <gasps> I did it. Oh, just put it over there. Oh, thank you for all you've done today, Claude. Oh, we're such a nice guy. Oh, now I'm ready to begin my final cat nap. When I briefly resume my corporal form, I will only be able to communicate by variations of purring. Oh, and meowing. Oh, that's so cute. I wish to say now that your compassion has moved me deeply. Oh, it's okay. I penciled in doing tax returns today, but I think in the end, this was more fun. Oh, it's better than taxes. It's so sweet. I must be going. Oh. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is! Oh, look at him! He's so adorable! Oh. We helped the kitty cat! Yay! Oh, Look at us! We're such a nice guy! Claude's such a nice fella. Oh, But now we only have like some random ass painting with nothing in it. Aw, oh, that's the last time I get involved in any haunted paintings. Oh, but that was a nice experience! Oh, time for a cup of tea, I think. Oh, that's lovely. Whoa. So, wait, what? Thank you for playing. Okay. I didn't really look at that painting. I don't know what it was implying. What, is, what does that mean? Is this painting also haunted? Okay. But now, we just have an empty painting, like I said. We have nothing to sell. That was really nice. The puzzles weren't too difficult, and the story was really cute, and I love the art, like I said, so... I really liked this game. I don't know how well it did in the Adventure Jam, but... I really liked it. Even though, in the process of helping that cat, we kind of destroyed half of our store's inventory, so we're probably gonna go out of business, so that sucks for Claude, but at least we helped the cat, it, I guess. By the way, thank you all so much for joining today's adventure and Claude and the Phantom. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoy the rest of your day as well. I hope to see you in our next adventure. Bye bye.